So you're the proud owner of the G7X Mark II, but you can't for some reason find the 60 frames per second mode or the 24 frames per second mode. You're stuck with 50 or 25. Let me show you how to get those extra modes. Hey yo guys, Marlon King here. I make videos about consumer technology and camera gear. So if that's your bag, consider subscribing. Let's jump into the tutorial. All right, so we've got the G7X Mark II here in video mode. And when we go to the on-screen display, we can see the different video settings we've got. We can do 50 frames per second, full HD, 25 frames per second, full HD, and then we've got 25 at a lower HD and VGA. However, you can't get the 60 frames per second um, that this camera can do, and you can't access 24 frames per second if you are into the film look. And there is a way to do it and you go to the menu down here and we're going to go all the way along into this section here the yellow section and as you can see I've got highlighted the video system now currently we're selected PAL and that's because we're based in the UK and there may be other regions as well that have PAL and the reason for that is down to how the electricity works and generally everything refreshes at let's say I'm going to say 50 parts a second uh, whether that's your lighting or, or anything that's kind of the frequency it runs at so um, what we can do is here select NTSC mode um, and then when we come back out we can now see that something's changed over here so if we go into the on-screen display we can now see we've got the 59.94 or which is the equivalent of 60 frames per second we now also have 29.97 which is the equivalent of 30 frames per second and the 23.98 which is the equivalent of 24 frames per second so you've got all of these modes personally even though I'm in the UK I do generally leave my camera set in NTSC mode because I find that a lot more useful and in general I find the 60 frames per second is a lot better for getting slow motion with this camera um, now you may notice if you are in the UK that you will get some flickering um, with lights in different areas especially if you're indoors however if you set it up before you hit record and you're in one of the auto video modes um, ie if you come up here and you leave it in the auto video mode rather than manual as you can see here in manual you're going to start getting this flickering um, well what will happen is the camera can automatically start to adjust the frame rate until it, it removes the flickering it's quite clever like that um, we can do that by adjusting this down so 100 frames per second normally you would double your frame rate so we would be running at 120 you can't get 120 on this camera you can only get 125 and my monitor is set at 50 currently so that's why we're getting the flickering so adjusting it down to 100 it removes the flickering from the monitor so that's a good example of why you might experience flickering well you're going to have a lot more fun now you can film at 60 frames per second for sure that's the main mode i use the g7x mark ii in and if you're interested in some of the other settings i use actually i've made a video showing complete settings guide and i've been using this camera for over two years now and I personally think I've got some really good footage with it um, so go check that out and I've also made another video about some of the equipment and gear I use alongside this camera to make it a really ultra minimalist portable rig um, so check those videos out and uh, consider subscribing if you're interested in more content to do with this camera and other camera stuff.